Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Escapists 2. And my game muted for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, last episode we have managed to escape from the Area 17 prison, leaving us with only two base game prisons and I think eight prisons in total if you count all these bonus ones. And today we're not actually go going to be going to a normal prison, today we're going to go to the final, the third and final, last transport prison. Air Force Con, which is basically, if you haven't already seen by the picture, realized by the picture, it's a plane. That's pretty cool. The previous one was a train, then a boat, and now a plane. So we're gonna have to escape from a plane. You know, that's... I think escaping from a train would be easy. Just jump off the train and just probably break a few legs. To escape from a boat, you just jump in the water or swim away. But how the hell do you escape from a plane? Well, you, we need a parachute, but where the hell would be? I guess there probably would be parachutes on a... Millet, no, not military, but a prison transport uh, plane. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be going right into here, starting a new game, and just escaping from Air Force Con, the second transport prison. I already read this description last episode, but I guess we can read it today as well. The game's way too loud, Jesus Christ. We're gonna read this description again. So, fasten your seatbelts, cons. Only the most hardened of criminals get an entire plane during the escort phase. One thing's for sure, though, it's a one way ticket. So you'd better act fast before landing. Oh yes. Well I guess I have to have a do. Let's just come for this new game. And as you can see, I never played for this prison before, therefore I'm gonna have no clue what I'm doing. Actually my videos finished uploading. Therefore I'm gonna have uh, simply just no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. At least you will know what I at least you will not know what I'm supposed to do to escape. So yeah, let's just go in blind, like I do with most of the prisons. Yep. These are the guards, they look like um Okay, let's just accept the okay, game first of all. And second of all, they just look like the standard guards that we you know we had in like center parks, not like the stuff of center parks super dope. There's four escapes, passport to freedom, plane crazy, regain control, and plane sailing. Regain control would require us to beat up all the guards. That ain't gonna be easy. Anyway, let's check out the guards. Simmons, whatever the hell that says, big towel core, gum arsenal, and jack sept. Okay, well I guess I'll have to Let's just start the game, I'm huh? happy with those guards. Let's go. So this is gonna be no prisoners since the transport prison. So yeah, I do actually plan on escaping today this episode since the transport prisons are kind of like short prisons. So I do plan on escaping today. Yep, it's genuinely just a plane, and we're flying above the ocean. Huh. Anyway, let's just choose our character. We look, we have like the um, like the outfit from HMP Offshore and HMS Orca. Well, I'll just press space and let's get into this. Look at this thing, cracking. Never been on this prison, so yeah. It looks like it's a standard plane, but. A bit more, you know, transport and military and like that stuff. Again, I said I have no clue what I'm supposed to do to escape, so yeah. Look at it, it's huge, crikey. Look at those wings as well. Bro, that's a huge prison. Those wings are absolutely huge. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a huge, you know, plane like. Bro. It's already airborne, we're already flying, so. Yeah, this music's popping. Huh. I wonder where we are, I don't know. It's just like, I guess, a standard, just seating, very dirty. Is this a normal commercial plane or like a military and um, transport plane? Not military, but just some transport plane, I have no clue. Well, whatever, that's that, so, yeah. I think there's multiple layers as well, multiple floors. Oh, Jesus, it's huge. This plane is actually huge. And this intro is already, what, like two minutes long? How are we gonna escape from here? I do not know. All I know is this is going to be a bit of a fun experience, ooh. Well, considering the fact there's water down there, and this is some, you know, waterproof thing, then this was your last warning, inmate. Huh, great. Next time we catch you out of your cell, huh, we won't be so nice. Great. Well, that's just standard stuff and all that. Here we are. We're literally on a plane. Oh boy, oh boy, let's read this. No, get out of there. Let's read this, shall we? So, yet again, we just have a limited amount of time to escape from this plane. Escape the plane, crazy. Finish a single player. Now, I wouldn't suggest this if you didn't if if you didn't think it could be done. Now, would I? You'll have to sneak around, not to be seen by the guards, whilst you try and seek all the items you need. What we're looking for can be combined to make give you a parachute. I know, I know, it's crazy, right? Once you have what you need, let's just say there's a door above to the right of the starting cells. Oh, right there. Good luck. So I basically need that. Uh, just I'm, we're just gonna be jumping out. I can't just walk out of those doors. But I'm gonna need a, um, you know, parachute for that. So, how the hell do you craft a parachute, eh? 
Oh, there it is. Parachute. Okay, so we need that and that. Huh. Is it really that easy? You just need, like, the bed. The thing from the bed and just that weird harness thing. Alright, well, we can already get the bed thing. Um, how do you take it? Um, how do you take the um, cover off a bed? I have no clue. Well, um, that's not a deal now, is it? Um, I don't know if you take the thing from a... Yeah, well, whatever, I guess. I'm going to above that. I do think that I don't know which escape route I want to go. We already, we already wasted so much time. God, I don't know what I want to do to escape. I don't know what escape route I want to go with. There's a few, um, yeah, things in here. It's multiplayer. What is actually what you have to do for the multiplayer? Um, okay, I don't know. I'm going to even read enough time. I want to look for the single player. Password freedom. Okay, it's vital to really read this if you want to get out this plane. You need to be cunning and crafting most of all brave. There's a computer that controls this thing located north of this plane. Huh. We're gonna need some other effect and accelerate our plans for freedom. Okay, so either we're parachuting out of here or we're doing this. I guess if we escape, uh, you know, in like 15 minutes, then I guess we might be able to come back here and escape using the second escape route. For now, I think maybe I'll try to parachute when I'm not sure. What happens if I open this door? Okay, at least you have to, yeah, make sure to parachute. Alright, so, yeah, you can just go up there. I guess for now, I'm gonna try to parachute one and on, on, our, and on our second uh, attempt, if we're gonna have time, we're gonna go do the other one. So, stuff for the parachute, eh? Hmm. Well, oh god, we have guards everywhere. I can sit down. I can literally, literally just sit down. Right. We have to be quick just so the guard doesn't see us. The guard is going to see us, right? Move down. Alright, officer, I'm gonna have to ask you to be gone. Okay, you can just go down there, good. She shouldn't see us unless she turns around, which shouldn't happen. Alright, we don't have much time. God, we're already running out of time. Nothing in there. Alright. Still don't exactly know where I'm supposed to find that, um, you know, that, uh, the harness is gonna, I guess, gonna be somewhere, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to find the, or actually how I'm supposed to get the, um, you know, thing that he put, uh, oh yeah, the bed cover, the duvet. Not sure where the hell we're supposed to find that. Although, I oh, wait, I can put the infirmary outfit on, can't I? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now the guards shouldn't, um, you know, do anything if they see us, right? Well, who knows, but I got an infirmary outfit on, so, yeah. Hope the guards won't notice us now. Uh, yeah, okay, so we can just put on a... Yeah, okay, so now, now the guards the see us outside. They won't do anything, so we don't have to go and worry about the guards anymore. Good. We don't have much time left, so we've got to be quick. What did the other one say? Something about the player. Let's really look at the map. Let's look at this thing. Oh, God. It's legitimately just a plane. Oh, interesting. Well, whatever. I guess let's just carry on looking on ways to escape from here. We don't have too much time. God. Well, uh... Oh, oh yeah, he just doesn't care that I'm looking for here. There's tanks of oxygen. Why would there be tanks of oxygen here? I do not know. There's this over here. Then we have this over here. Oh, Jesus. This is such a interesting prison. It's a baseball bat. Might need a baseball bat. Who knows? Maybe this rope. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to craft that harness thing. Yeah, I'm supposed to craft. Yeah, I'm supposed to craft it yeah, as a harness. Make your harness. I need three pieces of rope. All right, so I need to actually craft it. All right, well, three pieces of rope, you say? Well, there's two right here, so I guess I need to find two more pieces of rope. But I still don't know the controls to get the duvet for our bed, so I'm going to figure out how to get the duvet off, so I can, you know, um, you know, get it off, and then jump off. So yeah, if we manage to escape rather quickly, then we will actually, as I said, escape using both escape routes. Both the control room thing on Jigger and obviously the parachute one. But to do that, we need to go and first of all, escape. So yeah, the guards, as I said, shouldn't worry about us. Oh, we can literally just walk right into here. Interesting. Well, I need to find more, um, you know what they call them, uh, yeah, ropes. That's actually a lot of ropes over there, but I don't think we can take those. Is there any ropes in here? Nope. Can I take these? Ah, oh, shame. Well, whatever. Guess let's just go down here. Thank whoever the hell we're supposed to thank for this, you know, uh, um, infirmary outfit. Because we can just walk around wherever we wish. Good. I think we already checked this out, didn't we? Okay, let's go one floor up, because our cells are down there. So let's go one floor up. This should be, yeah. Uh, okay, have we already been up here? Uh, okay, we, we just came from here. How about we go one floor down? Then I think we were down now, were we? I'm not sure. This is, this is such a maze. Okay, we haven't been down here. So, oh, this is solitary, isn't it? Yeah. We haven't been down here in the solitary, I guess, part of the plane. Alright, any rope over here? No. What do the solitary cells look like? Hmm, like this. They just look like sudden solitary cells, I guess. Interesting. Alright, we need to stick together? Oh, uh, I don't think so. There's so much, like, fake rope everywhere. I guess the rope props. Oh, we got it. No, that's not the wrong thing. Alright. Put that away. Okay, got this. So now I can, I guess, go and make the harness. And good. 
makeshift harness. But now, how the hell do I get the duvet off my bed, huh? I do not know. I can't get into there. But I can't walk over here. Oh, there's this over here. What do I need to do this? Inflate up. I can't escape like this on my own. Oh, so to do that, we need to have friends. Well, alright, cool. So now I guess let's just go and, you know, get the duvet. Figure out how to get the duvet for our bed, make the parachute, and escape. That should be pretty fun. And then we're gonna spend the rest of the episode doing the other escape, which should be pretty fun. But first of all, I need to figure out how to get the duvet off my bed, which won't be as easy. Um, actually, I can check out the controls, can't I? Let's really get into our, um, yeah, to our cell, shall we? Beautiful. Yeah. Go right down here. And go down now. Uh, help on options. Yep, right into here, oh, unless the game is gonna be lagging on me, which won't be ideal. There we are, good. Move her up, move down, uh, open, pick up, E, no, open, close, primary, secondary, territory, stop, tag, attack, block, target, player, remote, try walks to drop inventory, no, well, I don't see anything, journal crafting, job action, map, pan map, zoom in, zoom out, map floor, I don't see any keys for, like, picking up our, um, duvet, it might be the space bar, although I'm not sure. Cause like, look, I press space and nothing happens. I press E, I just go into the bed if I don't want. I press Q and it just turns on that, so... I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'm supposed to hold E? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to hold E. Alright, well, I think that means that we have everything that we need, right? Yeah, we can make the magic part. So does that mean that we've just simply escaped? Just as easy as that? I think we have, yep, we've escaped. We got the achievement, the mobile escapist. That was easy. Well, okay. Deep breaths. Oh boy, now, to slowly exit- uh, oh, We just flew out. We literally just jumped out. Bruh. We're legitimately just skydiving from a plane. In a infirmary outfit. Bruh. Well, not as that. Air Force Con, you escaped. Plane crazy, nice, how's that? That was really easy, crafted two items and legendary letters. We got a B, interesting. Thought we'd get an A, but still, B is still pretty good. Alright, that's Air Force Con already done. And well, that's all I have. Uh, that's all I planned for this episode. But it's not the end because there's still the other escape route with that uh, control system thing. So now, now let's do the other escape route, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. So here we are. Um, actually, let's go into a new game and I guess select the safe slot. And now, yeah, look, we done the play uh, playing crazy. Now I guess we're gonna try to do the passport to freedom. I think these two, yeah, these two are um, uh, multiplayer. I don't know any friends, so we're gonna do any of those. But yeah, we can do this one. Yeah, passport to freedom. So I guess let's just do that. Randomize it. I just spam the randomize button like 50 times. That's good enough. And let's just start our game. Now let's start to do the other one. The, whatever the hell it was called. So yeah. Alright. Let's try to escape from here. But the other the other one. I keep on repeating myself. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's get ourselves right into it. We can skip from this. Because we already saw that left mouse button. Yeah. Skip through that. We've already seen that. Good and now it was right down here. This tip, yeah, right down here. All right, yeah, passport to freedom. That's what I want to do. Then the plane crazy. Let's do this one. Okay, it's vital. You've already read through this if you want to take it up this plane. Why is there so many tips around here about in the guards' bodies? I have no clue. You don't need to be cunning and crafty, but most of all, brave. Yeah, I can do that. There's the, there is the computer that controls this thing located north of this plane. You're going to need to somehow affect it to accelerate your plans to freedom. Uh, north of this plane, so we're probably like right about here, probably in the cockpit area, huh? Yeah. Yeah, probably right over there with all these captains. That stuff, yeah. Captain, captain. Lots of their officers and their captain, yeah. So I think we need to do something in there. So first of all, I need to guess, get the infirmary outfit, then I need to go into the cockpit and see what I'm supposed to do. So let's head into the infirmary and get the, um, you know. Uh, yeah, let's get the infirmary outfit. Let's get the infirmary outfit and then we're gonna go and. Figure out how to how the hell we're supposed to affect that goddamn um you know what you call it who not spot me yeah how to affect the um you know captain's uh, plane not plane I can't speak we're gonna figure out how to affect the um oh I can't speak today the computer yeah we're gonna figure out what we need to do to affect the computer and escape there is no infirmary outfit well that's very unfortunate because if because without an infirmary outfit this will be pretty much impossible. I could knock on a guard and steal their uniform, but that would be pretty hard because I'm gonna get a lot of heat. So, okay, let's maybe try to knock out a guard. You cannot knock out a, a medic, so we're gonna have to go and try to knock out the guard. Uh, we're gonna have to do that, knock out the guard. Alright, so they have some contraband over here, which I can use to knock one of these guys out and steal their outfit. So I can, you know, walk into there. 
Or, yeah, basil part. Or I could bleach my outfit. Yeah, okay, I can just bleach my outfit. No, no, I'm kidding. No, no, okay, we can just stand on the desk. I can bleach my outfit and turn it into an infirmary outfit, of course. We can go and craft our infirmary outfit. Do good. We take our outfit off, and then we can turn it into an infirmary outfit. Good, here we are. Got an infirmary outfit. Good, we're fine. I guess I don't need this bat. But I guess I'll keep it because I look cool of it. Alright, I'm stuck. Get out. Alright, cool. Now, yep, yeah, good. Now, what the hell am I supposed to do? I guess it's this computer. Yeah, look. What do I need? I can't fly this thing on my own. So is this another multiplayer one? I can't fly this on my own. Okay, so does that mean multi yeah, single player or multiplayer? Um, you all bought me fellow, hell yeah. Okay, I have no sure. I have no clue. Just alright. Give me a second. I'm gonna find out if that's a multiplayer or single player. If it's multiplayer, then I must say that ain't good. I'm gonna have to find out. All right. So it turns out the a passport to freedom, escape, aka the escape. I want to do is actually single player, which is good. And we need actually three things to escape. Apparently, I need. Some, I think it's a circuit board, energy module, and a screwdriver. And I'm not sure. Um, what else to craft it into? So I guess I'm gonna collect those things and just smack them into here and see what uh, what comes out. Yeah, alright, cool. I guess I need to just do that. So, alright, I, I didn't read too much of the description. I know that I need to find those items. Let's look for those. Circuit board, screwdriver, energy module. I think to make an energy module, we need two batteries and um, a bit of a wire. So, wait, an energy module should be somewhere around here. There it is, look, energy module. That's the energy module, so yeah. Two batteries and a wire. Alright, let's focus on the energy module first, but I guess I'm just gonna be looking for everything while I'm checking the chest out. So, two cards for my liking, oh, am I? Alright, nothing in here, great. Hmm. <laughs> Where could I find the stuff that I'm looking for? I do not have a clue. But I guess, anywhere. Hmm. Alright, let's just look for these things. See, I also need a screwdriver and a uh, circuit board. They're not that rare of items, so okay, that's one battery. Good, just need one more battery and a wire and a bunch of other stuff. Let's hope that it won't be in the um, you know, multiplayer chest because that won't be ideal. Although it shouldn't be, huh, who knows? Whatever, there's nothing over here. This is the kitchen. We're gonna just walk for the kitchen. The kitchen's obviously empty because I wouldn't be. It's a desk. I wonder if we can get a red key and just open those doors. Huh. Anyway, oh, look, beautiful. A screwdriver. Good, we got that. And to go and find one more battery, a wire, and the circuit board. And then we should be out of here as far as I'm concerned. I didn't read as I said, I didn't read the um what is it called? Didn't read the guide fully, but it didn't mention something about crafting the items and like shoving them into like the thing at the front of the plane. So along those lines. So yeah, let's just guess look for the stuff that I need and probably craft them together and just, you know, do something with them. So another screwdriver, though I don't think I'll need it, but it is another battery. So we got all the batteries, so I need to go and find a wire and a circuit board. And we're hopefully yet probably out of here. Should be pretty fun. So yeah, did I check this desk? I have no clue. But we're gonna find out. Let's get in. Yeah, it's very good that you have this infirmary outfit. Because if not, then all these guards would have been the enemy. Oop, no, nothing inside here. That's a bit of a shame. No wires, no nothing. And I can't, yeah, there's nothing down here. Right? That case, we're gonna have to go one floor, either lower or higher. If we're gonna go higher first, make sure we got everything over there, then we're gonna go lower. Although, did we miss out on the, you know, um... A desks up here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we missed out this one, right? Maybe this one will have what we need. Actually, wait, wait. There's something over there. Wait a minute. Oh, we found that. So it's this thing that I'm yeah, sabotage autopilot. Maybe I can. Yeah, I need a circuit board. Oh, so I was clicking the wrong one. The thing in the cockpit was actually a multiplayer thing. The thing I was looking for for my single player is this thing right here. It's I need sabotage autopilot. So I need to go and find a circuit board. All good stuff. All right. That explains a lot. Here we can grab the energy module. Now all I need is just a circuit board. Let's look for a circuit board. So yeah, I was basically looking for an other wrong thing. Yeah, I was looking at this thing, and that thing is just part of the um, yeah, taking control one, and that's multiplayer. So yeah, so yeah, I was basically just looking in the wrong one. So therefore, let's just go and yeah. Now that I know what we're supposed to shove the things into, let's just go and get what I need and shove it into there. If that makes any sense. So yeah, we were just basically checking on the wrong thing. Interesting. I'll get out of the toilet. Right, let's go one floor lower into this uh, basement compartment thing of magic. There's a lot of chests over here. Not chests, desks. Play too much Minecraft. A lot of desks down here. These desks should have what I need, right? No circuit board over here. Maybe a circuit board over here. Nope. Well, I can't walk into there because I need two people to open that. So, yeah. Let's hope the circuit board somewhere in one of these desks. Because if it's not, then, well, we're probably gonna have to restart. Never mind, we got it. Got a circuit board. That should be everything, I guess. Whatever it is, then let's hope that it, that you know that it is. 
Let's go up and yeah, let's just do this. I think we might have everything that I need. So yeah, let's just walk, walk, uh, walk right into here. Someone after the pallet, good. An energy module over the other pallet, all right, good. An energy module, got that. And now I see the screwdriver and this plane will have to land. Good, we can do that. So now go and, well, escape from Air Force Con for a second time. Great. Town of Forces, better to find somewhere to land. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Escaping for a second time, we're good. All right, come on. Huh. Bruh. Just break. Just beat it up. That should do it. Yep, we literally just beat it up. There we go. All right, now should be a warning. Locate safe landing site immediately. All right, so how will we escape though? We'll land, but how will that help us escape? Oh, just like that. Okay, we land on a desert. I'll collect my air mile later. <laughs> Bruh. So we literally just run out. Well, you escaped. Air Force Con, passport to freedom. Two items crafted, and that's about it. Got an RB. Well, that's interesting and all that good stuff, but how did we actually escape? Because, like, yes, the plane landed, but there was a lot of red doors. So, first of all, how did we manage just to, you know, open the doors and just escape without any of the guards, like, finding us? I don't know, that's questionable, but at least we escaped, and that's on our escape route done. Escape route done, so that's all I can do for Air Force Con. There's nothing else I can do apart from the fact that I can just go back in here and maybe get a better grade about, 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 about that. So, well, yeah. That's Air Force Con done. All done and escape from. Supposed to be hard, but really it wasn't that hard. So, yeah, we escaped. We didn't even get knocked out once. We managed to avoid all the guards in such a way that, well, we just simply crafted a, um, yeah, infirmary outfit, so none of the guards even had, uh, you know, reason to beat us up. But yeah, we got it. Air Force Con, all done, dusted and escaped from. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, next episode we're gonna go, and we're gonna be heading to the, well, I would say final prison, but it's the final in the base game, but not a final for us, because we'll have many more prisons after that. But we're gonna be heading to the prison in space. We're gonna be heading to USS Anomaly, which should be amazing. We're literally going to be going to space and the guards as you can see are going to be robots which is amazing so yeah ladies and gentlemen today we well we haven't technically run out of time so I have some time left but I've done all I wanted to do escape from Air Force Con that's already done and ticked off the list therefore next episode we're gonna go and we're gonna go to a goddamn space station the USS Anomaly and we're gonna be starting our you know play around with that but I said that's not gonna be the end because we'll have uh, I think six prisons after that wait one two three four five Five, six, yeah, we still have six prisons after that. But we still have seven prisons left. We still have seven prisons left in this game, so this is not the end of the escapists. After we escape from this prison, I said it's not gonna be the end, but it's gonna be getting close to the end. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. The next episode, we're gonna be going, and we're gonna be going into the big boy. We're gonna be going into USS Anomaly and figuring out how to escape from a space station. And that should be pretty fun today. We're going to be working on that next episode. So let's read the description while we're here. In the not too distant future, an overpaid think tank of pioneers came up with the airbrained notion of cons in space. Here we find cosmos adjusted criminals shipped to secure interstellar stations designed to solve the problems of Earth's overcrowded prisons. Well, out of the way, we're escaping from that prison. Well, we're gonna. First of all, we have to actually start and figure out what we need to do in August, but. Generally, ladies and gentlemen, next episode we're gonna go and, you know, go to USS Anomaly, figure out what's where, just like we did with the previous two prisons, Area 17 and Fort Tundra. We're gonna figure out what's where, figure out what we need to do, and then we're gonna start working on what we need to do, and we're gonna hopefully escape in a matter of time. But that's gonna be in the episodes to come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next episode, where, as I said 15 times before, we're gonna be going, and we're going, we're gonna be going to a prison in a goddamn space station. See you then, guys.